What's up everybody? This is Marshall Couture, also known as Plex of DonkeyJawProjects.com and today I got an announcement. Today, and if you've seen the video, there's obviously a title so you kind of already know, but um, today I'm starting my 100 days of making paintings. <laughs> no, not comics. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, when Kevin Cross, who started this whole 100 days thing phenomenon, 100 days specifically of making comics a lot of people, are that's what a lot of people are doing. Um, that's what he did and is doing again. He just started back up, so go check his uh, YouTube out. Um, but uh, so he's doing two, his second 100 days of making comics, which is really cool. Um, and I'm excited about it. Um, so I did 100 days of making comics, but I only made it to like 68 or something like that. Um, which was pretty far and you know, I probably should have finished but things happened You know, I did a bunch of other Projects and things like that. So it is what it is um, So I was thinking I was saying, you know, I think I'm gonna go back to that and finish that up um, So the last week over the last week I've been just I wanted to put up a new video of making comics and I'm like I just keep thinking about it and I'm like what am I gonna do though like I don't I'm not doing I only when I do comics from now on I pretty much only want to do my own projects because comics are way too hard to like I don't know for me at least to invest the few hours a day or however much time I have a day to um, working on somebody else's comic you know I might as well be working on my own so you know, I was like, what am I going to do? Should I go back to Glyph? Should I do another um, Glyph comic? And I'm like, I don't really know where I'm going with Glyph yet. You know, I, I'm not sure. And, you know, I have some other ideas. I'm like, I don't know if I want to start those or not. And I don't know. I was just kind of not coming up with a lot of ideas, too, and just not so inspired. So <clears throat> I don't know. It dawned on me yesterday that maybe I should try doing something different. Maybe I should try doing a hundred days of making paintings and I was thinking about paintings and something you know I've been wanting to do like single pieces of art um, kind of as the core of what I do my with my art and music and all that um, and as I was thinking I'm like well what am I gonna do for paintings you know <laughs> again you know the creativity and imagination thing was like, uh oh, I kind of panicked. But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, one thing is with paintings, if I'm not super inspired, I can literally just paint from reference, you know? So that's kind of a good thing. And if I am super inspired, I can do something a little more illustrative. And then I started thinking, well, I could paint from reference, but add some different elements to it to make it more interesting and illustrative. So I don't know I started thinking about about a bunch of ideas and I'm like starting to get really excited and what I realized was making comics is so overwhelming <laughs> um, compared to just making a painting and you know it's still gonna be kinda diving in like it's kinda scary um, type of thing because to be honest I'm not somebody who paints a lot um, I've done, you know, a handful of paintings in my life. I've played around with watercolors here and there, um, in my sketchbooks and stuff. But, um, you know, I never thought I would ever even try to focus on painting. Um, but maybe. And now I'm kind of seeing, you know, kind of the stuff that, like, Jeff Lafferty does and, you know, some other people on YouTube and, um, LaCree Fine Arts, that I'm, like, things like that, you know, <clears throat> And I, I don't know, I've been kind of inspired and, um, I don't know, I kind of really, I have a lot of ideas and it's, it's less overwhelming. Like I can see myself being inspired to make many different kind of paintings and things like that. Um, and kind of figuring out my own style through it. I also was doing some sketching the other day and it was like, again, I, I had no inspiration. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I just went to get the sketchy app and started sketching some people. I sketched a dog and I don't know. It was kind of fun to just kind of work my pencil around until I found, was able to make it look cool, you know. Um, 
And I mean, they were just light sketches, but I, I could see myself kind of just sitting there noodling on it until it like looked cool. And, and I liked that. I enjoyed that kind of aspect of drawing and painting and things like that. So it's kind of taking your time and, and just enjoying the process type of thing. And, you know, as I thought about it, it just seemed a lot less overwhelming. And I, I had a lot more ideas coming. And I feel like this is almost like a step to making comics eventually you know what I mean like because when you're making comics you have to think about so much like every panel is its own piece of artwork you know its own almost painting I mean it's not really that in depth but still it's like you have to think about everything you think about in a painting as far as design and 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 all that kind of things and aesthetic and things like that you have to think about for like every panel and then every page and that's just that part of it you also have to think about storytelling and just tons of stuff page page turns all that kind of stuff um there's so much stuff going into it and perspective and i need to you know if i can focus on just a few elements at a time i feel like i'll get start to get my perspective down better i'll start to get you know my ability to draw other things you know, instead of thinking about a comic where, okay, now I have to draw a ton of different things that I've never drawn before, which is great practice. And I, I, I'm all for diving into something like that and getting better through doing that. But um, I don't know, like I said, I, I was less inspired. So I, I figured let's, let's go with the, um, the paintings. And also the business side of it, um, you know, I'm going to be trying to sell the paintings that I make and stuff like that and maybe do some prints if if there's certain things that kind of lend themselves to prints and things like that um so on a business side it's a lot easier to get one painting out than it is to get a comic out and you make more money for a painting than you do for a comic <laughs> generally so i kind of feel like that's going to be more of my core and i really like for the business and I really love that model of you paint a painting and you put it out and sell it and you just you know copy rinse repeat you know that kind of thing <laughs> and um I really like that I've been seeing a lot of people who do like a painting a day or a drawing a day or whatever illustration a day and I really like that I'm not going to be doing a painting a day I mean this is going to be a lot of a learning process maybe I'll get one out a week or who knows it might take longer but hopefully I'll be able to start to shorten that time. Um, also, I always buy like these canvases like from time to time that you get at these stores, like the little panel ones and different size ones. So it's like I have all this stuff. Let me like make use of it, you know. So and um, so I'll just show you like just a couple things like from my sketchbook that I've painted recently, just so you can see. And I'm gonna be learning a lot, you know. <clears throat> This is my character limelight for the last glyph book. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of different subject matter. I'll be doing probably some of this kind of stuff too, hip hop stuff. This is uh, Method Man with fangs. <laughs> I did that during Halloween time. So this is kind of a mix of inking and painting, but I think it came out pretty cool. And then this is a painting that I, I started a long time ago, like years, three or four years ago. All right, so my video cut out, <laughs> but I was showing you this, which, like I said, is unfinished, and I'll probably gesso, gesso over it. Uh, I'm not going to finish it, but it was a gangstar piece, if you can't tell already. Um, if you're a hip-hop fan, you probably can tell it right away, but kind of jumped into this without knowing what I was doing, and I don't really have the reference photo at the moment, and I don't know. I just figure I'll start fresh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing a painting a day necessarily, but I'll be, uh, working on making paintings every day. I won't even necessarily be using a brush and paint every day. Um, there's a lot of reference sketches and stuff that, you know, I'm going to be doing, um, so, and finding reference and things like that. But hopefully I'll be getting out, you know, a decent amount of paintings. Hopefully once I get done with the first couple or whatever, I'll start to speed up my process and you know I, I mean I, I don't want to rush through you know everything but you know I do at the same time want to be productive so we shall see um, there's not going to be necessarily a video every day but I'm going to be working on it every day um, 
So unlike the comics one I did, where I, you know, would work on it every few days sometimes, or I'll be working on it. I'm going to try to do like a hundred straight days of working on making uh, paintings. And um, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee that there might be one here or there missing because something happens in life. That's fine, but for the most part every day. Um, and... Um, but I will be making a lot of videos, um, even that aren't the painting, but a lot of times you'll see some of my process in the other videos, like the art casters group, um, well, the, Jeff Lafferty's, um, YouTube site, art casters, he does a art cast every single day and sometimes I'm on those. So check those out. You might see me, um, if I happen to have a day off or sometimes I pop in during lunchtime or something. So, you know, if I'm doing that, I'll probably be working on my painting or whatever. Um, and then just other random hangouts. Um, I, I also plan to um, start some other video things up and, and a lot of those things sometimes will be content that's going into the paintings because um, that's the main focus of art I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah. And I guess that's about it. We'll see what happens, how this all develops. Um, but uh, I'll show you a little process of um, me doing some work and maybe talk over that. All right, thanks. So let's see if I can do this right. It's the first time I ever tried to record over dubs or whatever, over some art that I'm doing. So... Uh, Basically, what I've been doing for my first day um, is I wanted to, I figured the easiest way to kind of go about, you know, this stuff is to start trying to do some paintings um, by reference, you know, um, the subject matter being like a portrait of a famous person or something like that, that I'm, you know, into, I'm into hip hop, I'm a big hip hop fan i also make hip-hop music um so you know i figured that was a good place to start so basically what i did was um started drawing a bunch of sketches to get used to drawing um guru from gangstar um he uh died a few years ago he passed unfortunately um but uh you know, he was one of my favorite, he's, he's one of my favorite, um, MCs, probably in the top five or something like that, KRS-One is probably at the top, the number one, Guru might be number two, really, I guess, I always make these, you know, lists in my head of my favorite hip-hop artists and beat makers and things like that, because, I don't know, it's just fun, <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, he's right up there, so, um, you know, I started, sketching him out this is uh one i did in like this red gel pen type of thing um right here i'm just kind of i don't know the process here is just like i started shaping out the face using some rough guidelines um i wasn't you know thinking this was gonna be like a super um like refined sketch or anything it's it's more just getting the feel you know of things um i'm also one of the things i didn't talk about one of the reasons why i want to do this uh painting challenge is to basically well one of my other goals is to fill up you know sketchbooks to fill up like at least one sketchbook a month um and just really draw a lot more and I, I really want to get better like by this time next year I hope to be a lot better you know um, I mean I've been drawing all my life but not consistently and um, you know I really want to master like my craft you know what I mean so so that's kind of something that you know doing paintings kind of lends itself to a lot I think you know because you have to 
look up reference and, and just play around in your sketchbook and get ideas. And it, it's just a really, you know, if you need to draw some certain elements or whatever within the painting or paint certain elements within the painting, you know, you got to take time to study some of that stuff. Um, so sometimes these days will be just me sketching kind of like this. Um, but I do want to get deep into painting and, and kind of learning that also I've been thinking a lot about style um, I know you know people say your style will kind of come as it as you draw um, and then other people say you need to deliberately uh, develop your style by you know copying a lot of other people's styles you know not publishing those copied styles but you know like some of your favorite influences and stuff start copying what uh, they are doing and um, you know a lot of different artists too and then eventually you'll kinda find something you like within one thing and another thing you like in another thing and it, it'll I think it'll evolve a little quicker or at least that's the idea um, I'm not 100% settled on, on which way is the best way to develop a style. Um, I've always tried out different styles. And sometimes I wonder if I'll ever have one particular style. but Or if I would get bored with one particular style. But I know that you know I really dig artists who have a very distinct style. Um, and I think it's a really good way to get your stuff out there. You know, it's like your signature. It's like, I don't know, like, it's like branding or whatever, you know. You know, when I first got into comics, that was a big deal. You know, for me, um, you know, I started out collecting comics. Like, really, it dawned on me that I loved comics, um, you know, back in the Marvel right before um, Image came out, like the few years before that with um, what like Liefeld and Eric Larson and, you know, McFarlane and Jim Lee and all them were doing in Marvel. Um, that was what I was a fan of. And, you know, once Image came out, that was like, I was so into that. Um, so, you know, obviously, I mean, a lot of people might not, you know, there's definitely been a lot of uh, criticizing of those artists and stuff for a lot of different things. And some of them aren't that great with the anatomy and stuff and whatever, you know, it is what it is. But that's that's what got me into comics, you know, and I, I thought it was exciting and interesting and a interesting way to approach um, making comics. And, and it was exciting. There was a lot of dynamicism. I guess, um, and a lot of them, you know, they, especially Eric Larson and Rob Liefeld and, and um, McFarlane talked a lot about um, just really being into Jack Kirby, you know, and um, trying to bring the energy that Kirby had, you know. So, you know, it's funny because it's almost like blasphemy. <laughs> for uh, people to say like Liefeld or something is like Kirby or whatever um, because you know everybody seems to love Kirby but a lot of people hate you know the some of the image guys but whatever I don't know that's obviously has been you know I don't want to beat a dead horse <laughs> or bring one to life <laughs> that is always a huge debate and I don't really care <laughs> honestly I just I like what I like, and, you know, I still like those guys. I can see where the criticisms came in, and, heck, even uh, McFarlane, I read on one of his posts on Facebook, you know, he's like, you know, nobody's ever accused me of being a great, you know, person who knows anatomy, like, really well, you know. Um, he, he admits he's not the greatest artist, you know, so, I mean, but people don't, hear that they just see kind of the hype and I don't know whatever <laughs> but um yeah no I I dig that stuff but the whole point of that was just like developing a style like I really I mean McFarlane 
whatever you say about all these people, you know, McFarlane, Liefeld, Jim Lee, Wills Portacio, Eric Larson, they all had very distinct, noticeable styles. Um, and I think that was something that was helpful. Um, actually, something that's interesting about style is um, I just did an interview yesterday, or Friday, actually, um, today's Sunday, with um, Dan Frega on my podcast, the Escape Artist Podcast, and um, that's actually the video before this, so if you want to check it out. It's on YouTube there, or donkeyjawprojects.com. <laughs> You'll find it right on the um, podcast section. So, that being said, he came from Extreme Studios. That's where he started out um, with Rob Liefeld and stuff. Um, but one thing that was interesting that he said was, you know, when he he was doing work for Bloodstrike or whatever, and, um, you know, kind of following Rob Liefeld's lead and all that, and, uh, you know, he was saying that, uh, when it was time for him to do his own, like, original book or whatever, he basically picked characters which were things he just wanted to draw really bad, and, um, one thing he said was, you know, I kind of flipped the script on my style a little bit, and, you know, I, the way that the rest of the studio was going, I kind of tried to go totally on the other side of that and do something totally different um and you know what it, that black flag he did that was his original you know comic that was one of the comics that stood out to me i wasn't really actually digging much that was coming out of extreme studios um at that time i was i liked extreme studios because i liked rob liefeld but he didn't a lot of times draw the titles a lot of times it was all a bunch of other people and you know, outside of uh, Stephen Platt and Dan Frega, I wasn't really too into the other artists that much. I mean, there's good artists in their own right and whatnot, but it just wasn't something that was interesting to me, you know, the styles and whatnot. But, you know, Dan, Dan Frega, Frega, you know, he specifically changed up his style and made it, like, way different than you know what all the other image people were doing and it stood out so i don't know i really like stylistic stuff um i was watching a bunch of jim ma food videos today and you know i really love that his style and stuff but you know i even did kind of a little trying out of his style but i don't think you know it even looks like his stuff but you know, just to play around, just in my sketchbook, not to publish, really. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, but, um, I don't know, I really like his stuff, and, I don't know, like, sometimes I like more abstract stuff, sometimes I like more realistic stuff, and sometimes I'm better or not so good at certain areas, and it's hard to land on where I actually want to be, you know, with my style. I'm so indecisive about everything with art, you know, it's it's kind of weird, but anyway, so that's just some stuff I'm thinking about today, um, and, you know, I did this sketch here, another one of Guru, as using a brush, brush pen, and, uh, you know, here it is, I'll show you the sketch right now after this uh, video finishes. So here we go. This is the sketch I did. Um, in the last part. And then uh this is the first one. This one's actually from um Daily Operation, which is my favorite gangstar album. The hat's kind of a little too big, but whatever, it's just a quick sketch. Um, then I did these two today. Um, so, you know, I guess that's what I'm going to be painting. I don't know. I guess I haven't 100% decided, but, you know, I'm just trying to feel it out. I feel like maybe I'll want to add, like, an element or something. Um, it's 
washed out. Here we go. To, uh, you know, just make it interesting. Maybe some words or something in the painting. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I super want to just do straight up portrait. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. But I think uh, I did enough sketching. It's, I don't know, it's time to maybe get to some painting. So I'm going to have to start maybe putting together some kind of layouts or something like thumbnails, I guess, and, and see where I want to go with all this. Um, but yeah, um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is uh, day one. Um, even though I kind of spanned it across two days, I'll just call it day one of 100 of making paintings. <laughs> um, so I'll talk to you later. Peace out.